Good morning, everyone. My name is Maciek. I'm a lifeguard here at South County Pool. Uh, today we're going to uh, learn how to safely operate and clean our pool vacuum, okay? So uh, we just recovered it from the pool this morning. It's dirty, so we're going we're gonna to start from there. Okay, so first thing you need to, to do is get those yellow clips, okay, move out. Sometimes they resist. If they do, then you just want to jiggle with them a little bit, and, and, and they should let go. If, if they really stuck, then I would suggest that you uh, take it to some of the senior staff. Okay, then we're going to remove the bag, and you see how dirty it is. We're going to remove those two plastic brackets. We're going to put them on the side. And now we're going to remove that bag. Okay, and you see nice and dirty that's how you want it basically that means that this dirt is not no, not uh, in the pool anymore okay so now we're gonna take it over the our gutter drain or, or basically drain and uh, we have a hose here and we're gonna clean it okay nothing particularly sophisticated here One, that's the uh, plastic plastic frame, and now the bag. You want to really flip the, the bag on uh, uh, inside out just to get all the dirt out. I really suggest that you spend some time doing it, otherwise you're just not going to clean it well enough. Okay, so there we go. All corners. And all the spaces, you know, behind the crests of the material. If you want to put glass, if you have reservations as far as there, and, uh, and you want to put glass on, you're more than welcome to do so. Okay. And you see how dirty that uh, run of water is. So, uh, good to me. Now we're going to flip it back to the right side and again we're going to do the corner. Alright. And also we want to we want to see how is the interior of our vacuum. We want to basically put it in the drain. Okay, and we should be ready to go. Okay, so now for how to put the bag. If you generally look at it, you see the general outline of the rectangular form of it. So that needs to match the frame, so this is how we see. Yep, there we go. So this is how we're gonna do it. You see those uh, it's like a crest of material. Those there's two of them, and those go along the longer side of the frame. Okay? Of the of the dirt bag goes snugly over this perimeter of the frame. Okay. Now, once we have that secured, we're gonna put those uh, plastic brackets over the top. Okay. And basically, now you are done with cleaning procedure. Unless you're gonna put the vacuum in immediately, which we will now for training purposes, but unless you do that, what I do typically, I just leave it out there to dry. Because let's say if you're not gonna if you're not gonna use the vacuum for say two three days, if you put it in wet, it will never dry there and it's gonna stink and it's just generally not good. But that's the vacuum ready to go. 
So since we're gonna put it in now, just to go over that procedure, we're gonna put actually the bag into it. That's reversal. Let me point it to you guys. So again, let's do it again. Okay. We wanna make sure everything is packed in. Okay, and there we go. And it should really go in without much of the resistance. If you have a resistance, that means that part of the edge of the bag maybe got caught into the, you know, the frame or something. And now we're gonna secure those two clips into those metal brackets sticking out, and that's it. So now we're gonna ride the vacuum to the edge of the pool to sink it. That is gonna follow me. some of the cord so we have enough to sink the vacuum and yeah Elton come a little closer because I want to point uh, everybody's attention if you guys see it the, the handle of the vacuum it always needs to be on a diagonal meaning like if it's slightly to the side of that clip on one side it needs to be on the opposite side on, a, uh, on, on the other side and uh, we don't typically touch it but sometimes it can do it by yourself you can, you can by, you can move the handle by pushing that uh, button, holding it, and then you see how it moves. So we're going to leave it where it's there, and as long as it's uh, the same distance from the button on the opposite side, on each side, then that should be good. All right, so let's see what happens. I can bet you 9 to 1 that it won't sink. That's, it typically doesn't when the bag is wet. So that means that there is some air pockets trapped inside. So what we're going to do... Come on, and uh, and then come off again, then try again. But uh, just because they stay on, that does not mean that the, the vacuum is ready to go. So let's go back to the pool and see if actually if the vacuum starts running. Let's go. It typically uh, it takes uh, it takes uh, uh, maybe a minute. For it to uh, it runs on automatic cycle typically four six or eight hours uh, and then it should shut itself down you know when nobody's here we want to make sure that the whole cord is uh, all available cord is the blue cord is in the, in the water so the vacuum doesn't have any uh, extra resistance and it's running so at this point we could to go but we want to make sure that all those steps are, are basically taken the, the common pitfalls are when the vacuum climbs on uh, one of the main drains, which are, which sit about two inches above the pool uh, pool bottom, then it's pretty good at climbing at it, but it's not very good at you know getting off it. So it gets stuck. If you see it there in the morning, then the chances are, depending on, on at which point of the cycle it got stuck, that you know it, it didn't clean much of the pool. Uh, it can only it sometimes can also get stuck on the steps. Uh, but th there is really not much, you know, we can do about it. I'm just basically letting you know, so 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 you're aware of that. Okay, so now we're gonna pretend that we came in the morning and we're gonna get the vacuum out. So so basically, uh, you know how to do it. The the old industry trick is to keep the vacuum actually running when you take it out, and the reason for it is basically so you keep the suction out. So once you get it out of the water, all the stuff doesn't go back into the pool. 
order to do that in the morning, you would have to restart it. But, well, whichever way you, you choose to, this is how we're going to do it. So we're going to gently pull back you by the cord, unless you want to get in the water and get it. But typically, we don't. But you want to do it gently. Remember, that's just the cord. So uh, as long as the vacuum is in the water, you don't have to, you know, it's basically weightless. But uh, once we can reach the handle, you never want to actually pull the vacuum out of the water by the handle. So you can see the water running. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get it out and go quickly and, and disconnect it. All right, ready? Let's go. What you want to do, you want to, uh, I just typically, this is for the electrical cord, but I, I typically don't use it just not to bend it over and over again, it will just, so I'll just do that. Uh, and then put the back to the caddy so you got it easily, easily accessed. And then you want to just basically, and, and I really stress, you want to coil the cord nicely because whatever takes you five minutes to do now if you don't do it then the next person who gets to it is going to take them twice as long to undo it so uh, okay all right and basically that's it and you continue until you uh, wind the whole thing and then we uh, we went through the procedure of, of cleaning cleaning the vacuum so that's all for now from South Gani. thanks for watching